So this is the Aqua Robo 919 diving hookah unit. It was sent to me from Aqua Robo mm -hmm. for a review. I had it out this past weekend with my brother and his son and we had a good time. I'm gonna go through some of the features now of it and then explain, you know, basically give my feedback of who it's meant for and also some cautions to keep in mind as well. So this is the, like I said, the top top model Aqua Robo 919. It has a five hour battery life. There's three big batteries in here, okay? When I look at the Aqua Robo line on aquarobo.net, those all have self-contained batteries. So you're not gonna be able to fly with this at all and I don't think any of them that you'll be able to take on an airplane and that's due to the amount of time that they give you um, per charge so you charge it up it gets to 100% and you have five hours worth of, of battery is what they're stating um, it turns on by a magnet there there's a key fob here there's also a card and then a wrist strap that you can use as well taking a look underneath pretty open pretty open area here which I, I vented some concerns with you know if something hits a rock could definitely do some damage if anything does get damaged pretty much it has to go back to China is what they tell me so that that's a pretty big concern right there is you know like I said I used it twice it worked fine but if something were to break there is their distributor in Texas but from what Eric told me who's in charge over there it would pretty much have to go back to China if anything were to to go wrong in here or I'm not sure about the actual motor they say it pumps out 74 liters per minute of air so that's a good amount of air this is a, the coolant reservoir the coolant pump and that all gets stored up in here with the, with the batteries and there's the air inlet there so this is the hose there's a connector here that's a you can plug in a y connector and run two divers off this unit this hose is a very soft stretchy hose a little concern of mine is how durable this hose will be especially with the you know the safety factors in play here that you can go down to 60 feet um, I've only had it down to 12 feet just because we were in a lake and visibility wasn't that good but um, it pumped air to me fine at uh, 12 feet the hose stretches out I'll do a demo of that in a second it comes with a regular regulator here and it comes with this little canister that they send you filter materials with that you change out every so often and it keeps the air clean going in so a concern of mine definitely is is this hose you'll see it expand but um, it is it's a nice hose but how strong is it uh, you know yet to be seen there and like I said, I think if a hose were to break, you could, they could send you one of them. But when it comes to all the internals in here, it would have to go back to China if they don't have replacement parts that you can, that they could send you. All right, so we're gonna kick it on. We're gonna take this key fob and just touch it over here. And you're gonna start to see the hose expand. And once this hose pressurizes, the motor will kick off. Okay, so it's press the system's pressurized now, the hose kicked off. It has a regular purge valve here, just like any regulator. You can plug in any regulator to that, it's a standard connection. All right, and then we take a couple breaths and you'll hear the motor pump, come, uh, pop back on again. So two breaths there. The motor kicked on for a couple seconds and it'll turn off all right so you can see how long the line is now so ocean diving if you are a certified diver and this is your type of setup maybe you have a boat or you're close to the water then this would be okay it is heavy it is about 30 plus pounds to to carry so you're not going to be taking these on planes uh you're not going to be putting it in a backpack it'll be you know you're close to the water or you know and, and then you, and then you're in or off a boat like we did this last weekend um, 60 feet of line you definitely want to make sure you have a spare air if you are going to go that deep I would say you definitely want to be certified or have a good amount of training before you attempt to go that far down that is very dangerous to be that far not just going down but being down for that long is very dangerous the nitrogen building up in your system you know then something happens or you panic you come to the top could you know injure yourself pretty bad there so now it's pressurized we'll be able to we could turn it off 
and there's a safety feature that they have here because the line is pressurized so the machine is off right now. If we were to go to breathe, we would get breaths. If we were shallow and we could still hear this machine and it turned off, we would still be able to breathe through the regulator. You'll feel it start to tighten up after a bunch of breaths, but you'll still be able to breathe. I'll demonstrate that now. And you'll see the hose start to shrink. So there's a good amount of breaths right there just stored in the center tank here and in the hose there's like a center enclosed sealed tank as well as as the hose there um if you have any questions please let me know i think i've mentioned everything about it i will put the website to where you can see these also in the description everyone thanks for watching